So I thought before we get right down to actually give you a bit of a rundown of what this trailer is and what it's capable of and how to get familiar with the components that are on there. So in here we have the operating guts of the crane. So you've got 12 volt battery, hydraulic power pack and of course your handset controls. So this trailer is a large trailer so when you're towing it be careful. Understand that you've got a lot of weight there with you and I'm sure you guys will get some information on how to drive this trailer. So we have four, one, two, three, four stabiliser legs. This is the main battery for uh, isolator for the whole system. So this you leave off until you need to use your crane. This is the radio remote that controls the crane. Come with me and I'll give you a bit of a rundown of what else we've got on your trailer. This is the basic crane. This is a JRT Linzel one ton crane. It has a one stage hydraulic and one stage manual extension. It has your lift cylinder, your main boom, your extension cylinder over this side, your center column. These are the hoses that operate the system. This here, and if you like to come a little bit closer, is what we call a dual needle flow control tap. This is really important. This means you adjust the load up and down. So if you've got a heavy load, you wind this valve in all the way till it's basically shut off. And so if you've got the load in the end, we'll do a demo of this soon. Now that's shut off, which means it won't lift up the boom. You just open up a little bit and your load will come down nice and slow. And that's part of the training that you do to understand how to drive this crane when you are actually working one of our units. So radio remote, base of crane, boom, they're the main components. It runs from a, what we call a 12 volt DC battery. Uh, there's four stabilizers, as I mentioned before. So we've got these stabilizers here and what we do is You've got a pin on the other side here, just pull the pin out, pull this ledge pin out, slide it out, and you'll see the hole will come up very soon here. Right, there's your stabiliser. You should use your stabiliser legs every time you're going to use your crane. So yes, it is a little bit fiddly and awkward, but that's all part of what cranes are about. So there's your stabiliser leg on here. You yep. like to come around with the camera, undo your clip, move one a little bit, this now slides off. It's about 10 kilos or so, so just be careful, don't drop it on your foot because it'll hurt. All right, put your pin through here. That should, if I can get my pins out. So slide your pins through, it'll clip down underneath, it's on. Wind it down, down. If you've got really soft soil, put a block underneath. Right here we've got nice and hard soil on the ground and we can wind it all the way down until it touches. With the block underneath it, obviously you don't have to do as much winding, but if you're on a bit of a hill, and the whole idea is that you feel it take the, the strain. There you go. That's pretty good. So, let's have a quick operation of this crane so you know what we're talking about. So you press A and B on the remote. Now a little red light will come on, and that tells you that you haven't got your main power on. Remember I mentioned this over here? Flick your power on. Now there's power going to the remote system, to the receiver. Again, now you press your two buttons. Beautiful green light. If you want to turn it off in a hurry, hit that button. It's now off. So A and B together. Green light. Right, let's go and look at our crane. Now, before you start a crane, have a good look around. Look for overhead wires. Have a plan. With the item you're going to pick up, know its weight. Don't think to yourself, oh, I'll give it a go with the crane and see what happens. If you're not sure of the weight, talk to someone that knows about the product, look for a sign it or a, a symbol on it that tells you what it weighs. And if you're not sure, call us. We have a free call number here, one 800 815 Because we've been doing this for nearly 30 years, we've got a fair idea of what things weigh. And if we're not sure, we'll find out for you. So I've got my remote on now. Remember, I've just opened up this valve a little bit. So we want it to go up. Stand clear a little bit, you've got a remote. So we just hit the button, up we go. As soon as I take my finger off, it stops. 
So the pace, as you can see, if we hit the now number two is down, coming down nice and slow. If I open this up a bit more, it'll come down a bit quicker and quicker again. So let's take my finger off, it stops. There's no sound when you come down. You're not using the motor to drive it down. You use the motor to drive it up. Now if we want to extend, press the extension, hydraulic beam comes out here. Now remember, you're using a piece of machinery. So make sure you're wearing the right equipment on you. Boots, steel caps. Gla safety glasses or normal glasses are, are fine with us. Safety glasses are, are preferred if you've got them. You've got all the hydraulic here is all in protective sleeve uh, and anti-burst. Now, if you want to go left or right with your crane, it's going left. And you can press the other button and it'll go right. Now, I'll just give you an idea of how high this unit goes up. Just take your finger off, it stops. Go a little more. There we go. Now, we'll press the extend. It's a long way in the air. So the advantage of the remote is that you can go around to the rear and still drive the crane left and right. So if you've got a long load and you're struggling with it, you can tether a line to it and make life easy and come around with it. We're going to come down. So with any crane, before you start to get straight into the job, practice. Get a 50 kilo or 100 kilo load. Have a practice, press up, press down, press left, press right. Understand how the controls work. And again, if you're not sure, you call the free call number. This trailer will take a lot of weight. This crane cannot be overloaded if you operate it properly. Any crane can be overloaded. So you know your weights. There's built-in relief valves in our hydraulic system. So if you do have something that's a bit too heavy at a certain point, it'll take the strain and you'll hear a, a noise that doesn't quite sound right. That's the actual relief valve taking over and it's stopping the load from lifting and then you think to yourself okay my load's too heavy for that point so the deal is don't pick up super heavy loads and then try and push them as far out as possible know your weights know what 300 kilos is what 150 kilos is and it's easy i'll just extend this out a bit more so you get an idea of how far you can go so for this trailer you will be able to put things in that corner that corner I'll just rotate it around this way. So we'll put things right over here. So the advantage you've got, you can drop it right down here. Now if I get it to about me here now and I'll bring it down. Again, don't get underneath your load. I'm not actually underneath it, I'm a metre away. It looks like I'm underneath it, but I'm not but you've got the remote. Let the remote do the job for you. Make your life a little bit easier. As soon as you stop it, it's finished. Retracting in. So this pin, actually, I'll bring it down a bit lower for you. And if my camera lady can come around here a little bit, I'll show you what I mean. Pull this pin out here. Now try and do this on the level if you can, because this, this whole system will slide out. So you've got a pickup point, you can put a pin there, you can pin it here, or you can pin it here on its third pin, which is there. So now you've got 150 kilograms that you can pick up from this point here. Now to give you an idea how high it goes, let's go up. Now I'll get on the back of the trailer here. So I'm not underneath it, I'm to the left of it. Uh, again, easy to use, the left and right swoop. And you can drop things over the other side. Now remember, there's four drop down legs. One, two, three, four. Set them up always. Sure, you might say to yourself, oh, I'm only gonna pick up 100 kilos. With this sort of trailer, if it's only 100 kilos, you'd be fine with just the front unit. But if you're gonna pick up four or 500 kilos, set it up properly. It's a good habit to get into and it works really well. Alright, so basically that's it. That's as much as we'll put in this video for you.